Digital A11Y Insights, your accessibility partner. Hello everyone. Today, we're going to talk about audio control. We're also going to talk about its requirements, importance, failure scenarios, and how we can fix them. It might be a good creative or marketing strategy to play an audio content for more than 3 seconds on page load or otherwise. But did you know that it would interfere with the navigation or operability for a lot of users? This is why WCAG mandate that a mechanism to pause or stop such an auto-playing media content or a volume control that is independent of the system volume control. Now, Let's understand, why does it matter? Well, this helps users with limited vision or no vision who use a screen reader application that read out contents and UI controls with the software voice. This also helps users who are visual but get distracted when audio-only content that plays parallelly and automatically. Now, let's look at how we can pass this. We can make sure if audio content plays automatically for 3 or less than 3 seconds, or if there is a control at the beginning of a web page or the app screen that can silence the audio, even if the audio content could play for more than 3 seconds. Let's look at a failure scenario. In all the product details pages of an e-commerce site, an audio promo plays automatically the moment the users navigate to those pages and there is no mechanism to silence the playback. Now let's look at ways how we can fix them. One can make sure that they don't play any media content automatically on page load, but always play them with the user interaction. And in case of automatically playing media content, one can always provide a mechanism to control the volume and pause or stop the playback. This is the end of the video. Thank you for joining. If you like the video, do like and subscribe.